Congress 2013. We're really excited to show some of the new tools that we have available from the software group at Intel. Right? Typically, we have the Intel HTML5 app portal tool. And we really think that a lot of developers are going to find this interesting because they've already started making apps on iOS, which is great. But some of them feel a little constrained by the wall garden. So this app is a very simple wizard app, right? You go just go through step by step. And what it will do, it will take your Objective-C and transcode it into JavaScript. It'll take your GUI and go into HTML5 and install sheets. And then for the API call, it'll leverage the jQuery mobile. You simply put it to your, point it to your Xcode project, it'll do an inventory, and step you through the entire conversion. When you're done with that, you'll have code generated, HTML5, uh, CS, uh, CCS, and the JS file, the JavaScript file, and then from there you can go into whatever your development environment of choice is, whether it's Visual Studio, the Clips, Brackets, whatever you like, you finish debugging it, it's not a perfect tool, you'll have to do a little bit of work, and then you go through a package, right? For example, we use PhoneGap, and when we're done with that, we will output, including the Android option, still go back to the iOS option, and also use it for Windows. And so what we have here is a side-by-side. -side. Here's the original app that was written, written natively. Here was the app written for HTML5. You can see that they look a little bit different, but the functionality remains the same. And then up here, we have the Windows, Windows 8 tablet, and then we also have an Android tablet happens to be running on Intel processors, the Atom processor, and as you can see, when you look at the different versions, they all have the same functionality. So you haven't lost any functionality, but you've greatly expanded your market. If you need any more information about this tool or anything else that we have going for HTML5, uh, it's at software.intel.com slash HTML5. Thanks for watching.